All right, let's, uh, let's cross over to Vanessa Puna. She's in Neisner. Um, Vanessa, a very good morning to you. What are authorities saying is the next step after uh, the fires, as we are reporting, now seem to be contained? Good morning, Julia. And yes, uh, the authorities are saying that assessments uh, to determine exactly uh, what the extent of the damage has been to infrastructure, that's to municipal infrastructure, will commence today. Uh, largely, uh, the fires here in the Neisner, Sedgefield, Plettenberg Bay areas contained. Uh, early on, we spoke to the fire chief telling us that uh, monitoring and ground crews will still remain uh, in place for at least the next week uh, to make sure that the smoldering embers are taken care of, uh, cooler weather conditions as well as some drizzle this morning certainly helping. Uh, but just to get a sense of what has been the extent of the damage to uh, municipal infrastructure, I'm joined now by the uh, acting municipal manager uh, for this region and that is Mr. Johnny Douglas. Uh, sir, good morning to uh, you. Good morning. Uh, you'll be sending out assessment teams this morning to ascertain exactly what needs to be done from a municipal point of view. If we talk about water, uh, if we talk about electricity, uh, you've mentioned that sanitation is also a be concerned at this moment. What exactly will your teams be doing and focusing on today? Uh, what we've done now, we've uh, started with the actual assessment on water. What we've established uh, with our pre preliminary assessments is there's a lot of leaks. So we've sent out some teams to deal with all the leaks from properties. So that will continue during the day as well as the week. And then we will start with the in-depth assessment on our water network. Most of the pumps are out due to electricity. Most of the cables has been damaged. On electricity side is that we'll have appointed three contractors to deal with emergency repairs on our main lines. Um, and then we will start with the actual assessments by utilizing the contractors as well as asking for some assistance from our provincial MIG office on the sewage side is that due to the lack of electricity, all our pumps are off and we are running honey suckers to empty some of the uh, sewage tanks on our big lines. Now, uh, when you talk about the water situation, uh, we do know that uh, this region has been going through uh, difficulty with regards to uh, water. Now, you've also urged residents to reduce consumption, um, especially after this devastating fire. Uh, that's correct. Uh, as you can recall, we did declare Naisna as uh, uh, a disaster area, a local disaster during April uh, due to the lack of sufficient water. Um, so we're definitely urging communities to reduce water usage. Uh, what we've also asked them is that they need to look at about using less than 400 litres per day per person. Uh, our water levels are very low. The upper clue of them is at about 31% uh, due to our pumping capacity and um, the utilisation is at about 12.5 megalitres per day. And then also, uh, so you will be uh, focusing your efforts really on getting the electricity supply also back up. Uh, a short while ago, I believe that the Nisner town itself, electricity largely restored here, but there are still pockets uh, where there is no electricity. Can you give us a picture as to what percentage uh, of the town is suffering um, electricity outages at this stage? And then just your advice to residents affected there. Uh, it's basically your Brenton, Belvedere area that's mostly affected uh, because the whole overheads has been damaged. Uh, we have uh, rough estimates, it's about 30 million uh, damage there and we request um, our community just to be vigilant and not to try and switch on electricity. So we'll definitely work on that as I've indicated there's three contractors appointed to assist with getting the electricity back in those areas. Thank you very much, Mr. Johnny Douglas, the Acting Municipal Manager here in Neisner, just telling us, Leanne, about uh, the assessments that will be taking place today, teams that will be going out uh, already in just one area, over 30 million rands worth of damage to overhead cables um, affecting electricity supply in certain areas. Uh, but largely in Neisner, I can tell you that behind me there is a briefing at the moment with uh, the fire chief and firefighters in terms of where exactly they'll be uh, focused on today in terms of monitoring flare and hot spots, but this area largely contained the fire year and uh, today the focus uh, I think would go towards uh, looking uh, to how to restore municipal services, those that have been gutted uh, in, in these flames over the past couple of days. Hi, Vanessa, thank you very much for the update and uh, again our thoughts are with everybody in that area as uh, they try and rebuild their lives during this very, very difficult time.